So, I'm gonna have to do this because I'm fulfilling a promise that I made you all. So, how's it going guys? Matt here from the Dosey Bros and I'm here with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a $800 build guide featuring the RX 480 and wearing a horse mask. So let's roll that intro. All right guys, so as I said, this is an $800 gaming PC build. And one thing to mention, it is Mini ITX. So it's gonna be a really awesome compact build featuring the RX 480. So without further ado, let's get right into the parts. First up, we have the i5-6500, which is a 3.2 GHz quad-core processor. It is non-overclockable, but if you do want to offer an overclocking version, you can pay the extra $30 and go up to the i5-6600K. The 6500 will do fine for this build. You really don't need to overclock to make this a very awesome build. And it really has a lot of power using the Skylake platform. And the i5-6500 will do a great job for this build, and I highly, highly recommend it at its price point. As for the cooler, we want the legendary Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. The Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo is a very affordable CPU cooler and does a very good job cooling CPUs. And I highly, highly recommend you pick it up at its very affordable price tag. And if you do offer the 6600K instead of the 6500 and pay a little bit over the $800 budget, you will get a very awesome cooler for overclocking. So I do highly, highly, highly recommend you pick up that cooler. As for the motherboard, I recommend that you pick up the Gigabyte GA-Z170N Mini ITX motherboard. Now this motherboard does support overclocking, so if you do offer the 6600K, you can go for that. But if not, there are gonna be some other options down below if you do stick with the 6500K that do not support overclocking, so you can save some more money and get even farther below the $800 price point. So this motherboard is Mini ITX, it's a black color scheme, it looks really cool. Gigabyte makes some solid motherboards and supports all the RAM we need to have for this build and I think it will do really good. As for RAM, we went with the Kingston HyperX Fury Black Edition RAM, two 4 gigabyte sticks at 2133 megahertz on the DDR4 platform. Now this is great RAM, DDR4 for Skylake, it looks really good. You can go with 16 gigs if you want, if you're doing more video editing or content creation. 16 gigs is kind of the norm for that sort of work, but just for gaming, 8 gigs still does the job. There are some cases where 16 may be useful, but that's just something that's really optional and I think 8 gigs will do fine for this build. As for storage, I went with my legendary storage configuration, which is a silicon power S60 120GB SSD. And if you want to opt for a higher gigabyte model, a 240 gig or higher, there are options available for you. But for me, 120 gigabytes is plenty for this build. And also for a mass storage, I decided to go with the Western Digital 1 terabyte hard drive. It's a very solid hard drive. Same configuration I have in my system, and it does really, really good for this build and my personal rig as well. So I highly recommend you pick it up, and it's very affordable. For the graphics card, as I mentioned, I opted for the RX 480, which is going to be coming out on June 29th, and it's estimated to be at the performance range between a 980 and an R9 390X for $229 for the 8GB model, which I definitely recommend you opt for. This is going to be a 1080p gaming beast, and it can even stretch into 1440p, and at an $800 build price range, that's outrageous. A few years ago, I would say that's impossible, but nowadays you can play 1440p games at an $800 budget and even stretch into some smaller 4K titles if you want to. So the RX 480 is going to be an awesome, awesome centerpiece for this build. As for the case, I chose the Fantex Intho Evolve Mini ITX case. Black color scheme, it looks really, really nice, and I really, really like the way it looks. And it comes at a very reasonable price tag. Now, that's all you can really ask for at this price range. $800, you can go for something more glamorous, like the Bit Phoenix case line or something of that nature. But I really like this case. Last but certainly not least, the power supply, which is an EVGA 500 watt power supply. It's bronze certified, it's very affordable. 500 watts is plenty for this build with a very energy efficient RX 480 and i5 6500. So this price tag comes in at a grand total of, let me get and look through my snout, $797 with the rebates, a little bit over $800 without rebates. So I definitely recommend you take advantage of rebates or do a little bit of mixing around to make things work for you price-wise. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike. Try to get this video to over 500 likes. That is our big goal, guys. 500 likes on this video, and I will drop a giveaway for you all lucky people out there. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, comment down below. Use our Amazon affiliate link. Whenever you shop on Amazon, help support us. 
And I gotta get out of here because my face is burning, burning, burning. I can barely breathe inside this horse mask. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.